I'm Allison Marin. Um, I'm the product manager here at Rent Better. And I just wanted to welcome you all to um, our live webinar of Condition Reports Made Easy. I did want to wait just a few minutes because I know that we have kind of a large group of people signed up and I'm seeing people joining at the moment. So I might just wait a few minutes before I jump into the content. Um, but in the meantime, I thought we could just kind of break the ice a bit. And um, maybe if everybody wanted to message where you're located, um, I'm in Sydney, I'm in Bondi Junction at the moment. Um, it's a little chilly here, um, so I'm getting used to that. And just wondering where you're all located. Um, I know that we have users all across Australia, different states, different cities, different towns. So I'm just super curious. The user research side of me needs to know. And I'm noticing there's a chat and a Q&A. So, um, okay, I'm seeing messages in the chat. We got South Australia. Kirribilli. Oh, I've been there before to the markets. It was really fun. I need to go back when they're open. Or are they open? Tassie. That's on my bucket list. All right. Well, I'll just kind of give a little bit of an intro. Won't jump straight into the content. Markets are on every two weeks. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. I'm totally stopping by soon. All right. So feel free to write in the chat or the Q&A um, throughout the webinar. I'm just gonna minimize it for a second. Awesome. All right, so while a few more people roll in, I see people joining still, um, I thought I would just kind of give a little bit of an intro of what we're gonna go over, um, how I'm gonna approach the webinar and just you know, relax and enjoy. So. Just so you know, I have a couple notes here to make sure I don't miss out on any valuable information. So if I look down for a second, I'm just making sure I get to everything. Um, but first, I just thought that I'd kick off this new um, fortnightly webinar series with a little bit of an intro and why we started to do this. So over the course of the past probably year now, um, we've been receiving questions and suggestions from users of things that they want answered or they want to learn more about. And so we started off doing some workshops and I did a live webinar a few months ago. Um, and that was my first live webinar and this is my second. So just a tiny bit nervous, but I love the product. So I think that'll calm me down. Um, but yeah, we decided that, you know, we heard, we listened to our users and you guys asked for more content and webinars that you guys could interact with us and learn about all of our features and the property market. So now we're running these fortnightly webinars. So thanks to everybody who signed up to the calendar and is joining this one. Um, we're really excited. And one point I wanted to make is that this is for all of you. So if there's something that you're curious about and you don't see it on the upcoming um, calendar, feel free to reach out to us. Um, you can email us at info at rentbetter.com.au. I'll mention this at the end. And we wanna listen to what you wanna know, what you're confused about, and make sure that we can add that type of content to our webinar series. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll probably get started now on the condition reports. Um, but first I wanted to say that there's two types of webinars that we're starting to run, and then we'll probably learn from all of you and you know, add some different types of topics. But um, Jeremy, the um, founder and CEO of RentBetter, is gonna focus a lot on the property market and you know, all of his expertise that he has on self-managing property and how that works in Australia. So it's kind of gonna be a nice balance of those types of webinars, um, as well as more product focused webinars. So I'm gonna focus more on the features that we've built. Um, they're usually related to just things that you have to do when you're managing your property. Um, and it'll be more of a walkthrough and demo of those features with some information about you know, how that works in self-managing. 
Um, I'm gonna keep the beginning of this really focused on that type of demo, um, but then I'll take some time at the end um, to go through your questions. And if I don't an answer anything, um, everything that you ask, then feel free to reach out to us. And one other thing I wanted to mention is this is just focused on condition reports, um, but we are also offering you know, demos. So if you reach out to us and you wanna learn more about all the features, we can set up some time with Jeremy for him to walk you through all of those features as well. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. There's this joke amongst like anybody that does demos or product managers that Something might go wrong in the demo. I hope the Wi-Fi doesn't go out, but if it does, we'll roll with it and we'll have some fun. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen to get going into the condition reports. All right, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Feel free to message if you don't. Let me just go full screen. All right, so our focus is on condition reports and how we made them easy um, and simple for you guys to use. So just a couple um, facts about condition reports. Um, before we worked on them and created a digital form for you, we learned from a lot of our users that they were using just paper and they were printing out this long form that you have to fill out. And the landlord or the agent would go look at the property, then um, either email it or physically deliver it to the tenant. And then it's this kind of back and forth, um, kind of a lot of extra work that you don't want to have to deal with right at the beginning of, you know, setting up your tenancy and making sure that you have a nice start with the landlord and the tenant. So what we really focused on is, you know, understanding what are kind of the pain points in inspecting your property. And we found that it just seemed a little bit overwhelming, or sometimes people were admitting that, you know, they weren't taking the time to inspect the property as much as well as they wanted to because it just seemed like a chore that they don't want to have to do. Um, so we really took that into account when working on this feature. And we thought about situations like um, you might have Wi-Fi in your property or you might not and you might be on your phone. Um, you might have to upload a lot of photos and how can you easily see those? So as we go through the feature, I'll kind of talk about, you know, areas that we've improved this process. Um, my experience with condition reports was I got an email and I, and I couldn't open it. And then I noticed that, you know, the agent hadn't filled out everything and it's a back and forth and it was a little bit frustrating and it really has, that's not the landlord's fault at all or mine, but I kind of would you know, you're stressed at the beginning of a tenancy and it's not because anything bad is happening, but you know, if there's change in your life, um, sometimes that can be stress inducing. So, you know, from my own experience and our users experiences and the landlords we've spoken with, you know, we wanna remove that and get people starting off on the right foot. So what I'm gonna do um, is just kind of go through the condition report and let you see the landlord side and the tenant side. And just one thing I wanted to note is um, I know that we have current users on this webinar as well as um, new or future users. So this is just the My Properties page. Um, and if you do want to um, schedule a demo with Jeremy, we can walk, he can walk um, through this a bit more. But this is one of my properties. Um, I made two properties. Um, just for showing different parts of the condition report. But when you're managing your property and setting up your tenancy, you know, you're going to have to send the lease agreement and you're going to have to send the condition report. So we wanted this to be very simple and easy to understand what you're working on. So one thing that we recommend is that, you know, you inspect your property at least two times a year. Um, but each state has different um, guidelines for this. And when we actually send out the recording, the link to the recording um, tomorrow, we're gonna send our blog post on this as well. 
So when you inspect your property, a lot of you might be advertising at the moment or you already have a tenant, but at the beginning of a tenancy, you're going to do an initial inspection. And sometimes, um, ideally at the beginning, your tenant's not in there yet. So you can go into your property, you can inspect it, and um, then you can send it to your tenant. So first, what we've built is this property details page. And so when you set up your property with Rempetter, we're going to pull the information that you've already um, added to the system when you set up the property. So your address and the type of property it is. I made this a studio, but I might just change it to apartment. And then let's say you had a three bedroom house, two bathroom, that'll be pre-populated right here. But because I made it a studio, probably because I'm about to move into a studio, um, it doesn't have all those selected. So I'm gonna add that I have an entrance, that I have a dining room, bedroom, bathroom, two bedrooms. And then once you do that, um, the purpose of that is we wanted to make it easy to customize because sometimes the forms um, in each state might not include like a laundry room or they'll have an area to add an additional room. Um, and so we wanted to make it as easy to use and as um, correct um, for your exact property. So then you'll get to the report and there's just a little bit of an overview. Here's the link to our blog as well, um, which we always like to update um, if any new information comes out. And if any of you have used our lease agreement before, it's very similar. It's a create, view, send type of flow. And for anybody that's new to this, what we're going to do is you're going to create and fill out that condition report. You're going to view it in PDF form, and then you'll send it to your tenant to fill out. What we don't want to be, be is too prescriptive. So we've built the form that if you don't have parts of in your entrance way, for example, if you don't have Okay, I guess you have walls. So maybe those are clean, those are undamaged, those are working, um, but maybe you don't have blinds and curtains, there's no sort of doorbell. If you don't fill out parts of the form, you can proceed. Um, if you say that they're NA, like you don't have them in your property, you can proceed or you can go through and you can click every single check mark. Um, it's really easy to click and we've also modified the form for your mobile phones to make it a little bit easier and understand that everything's being saved. Um, what we recommend is that you actually pay attention to your property because if you and your tenant inspect your property thoroughly, it's going to set you guys up for success. There's not going to be frustration. There's not going to be a back and forth of like, he said, she said, it's right there in the document, it's in the photos, it's in the comments, and you both agree to it. And you know, if things arise during your tenancy, like something breaks or something like that, then you get started off on the right foot and you can figure it out together. So let's say that um, there's something wrong with the door frame. So I'm just gonna say scratches on door frame. So that's just something I've no noticed. And I understand maybe it's a little bit older of property. So I'm acknowledging it and I'm saying, hey, tenant, I know that you didn't do this um, and you know that this exists and we're going into this agreement, understanding that this is the condition. So what you can do is you can upload in each room up to six photos. I just put three at the moment. And then those are the photos that you're taking that's showing the condition. Um, sometimes people just take photos of if there's issues, but what I would recommend is having at least one or two photos in every room that shows, you know, the full room and the details of all the main features. So don't just skip over the photos for your dining room or your living room because there's nothing wrong with it. Um, just get that there because then you can refer back to it and be like, on this date when I created this report and took these photos, um, this, this was the condition of the property. And one thing to notice, um, on the right-hand side, you can't click into the tenant side, um, but this is showing you what the tenant's gonna have to do. So when you send them the condition report, um, they're going to have to agree or disagree and write comments um, on the state of each room. So what I'm not gonna do is just, you know, make you all sit here while I'm clicking through all of this. 
Um, it'll just act like I went through some of the rooms. I'm gonna upload a couple more photos. And get down to the bottom of the form. So once you get through all of the rooms, there's sections that exist on um, every condition report in every state. And it's just talking about the security and the safety of the property. It's some of the general areas in your property that might not you know, be categorized into a certain room. If you have a swimming pool, um, how your garbage, garbage bins are. Um, and then there's additional, um, sections in the report that you have to fill out about, you know, the water efficiency and any work that you're promising to undertake. Then what you can do is we've built this great feature, which is digital signature. Um, so I'm just gonna act like my name is Demo Landlord and I can sign it. And now that's generating the PDF, which I can view. Um, one thing that we worked into this based off of some of the user feedback is what if I misspell my signature so you can um, you can fix it, you can go back and you can edit the report if you're viewing the PDF and you feel like you missed something. And so, sorry, I don't want to scroll too quickly. So this is the PDF. Um, so really, it's just the version of what you just filled out. Um, there's really nothing different about it. It has all the check marks. It has the comments. And then the only difference is in the form, we've built the photos into each section. Um, but if you scroll down to the bottom of the form, um, we then have the photos at the bottom. That's like, this is the entranceway photos and this is the bedroom photos. And what we didn't do is add extra pages with blank pages if you didn't add photos. So the photos will appear for each section that you added photos for. But as I mentioned, I'd recommend adding photos for each section. So then next, um, you can send this condition report to your tenant. So when you sign up for our manage or rent better way plans, that allows you to use all of our um, management features. And that allows you to ask your tenant to join our platform. So if you send them a lease agreement or you invite the tenant to the platform, they'll create their own account. And then you're able to communicate to them, collect rent from them, um, and send the condition report for them to them for them to fill out. So um, this kind of removes the need to, you know, now download something, send it an email, they have to print it. Not everybody has printers anymore. They can't fill it out. Now do they have to scan it and send it back? Or are they dropping it off to you? You know, all the types of extra work that makes me want to avoid doing something. Um, so I'm just going to click send. And then what happens is that your tenant is going to receive an email um, as well as a notification in the platform to um, fill out the condition report. And then also every time you create a condition report, you're able to come back and view it in the condition report feature as well as in your My Documents area. So before I go into the tenant account, I just wanted to show you that if we go back to My Properties, And if I click on condition report, we're going to see here, there's your condition report that you're working on. And then there's going to be a status. So you can see right here, it says waiting for tenant to complete and sign. Um, let's say you made a mistake. You're like, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to click send, or I forgot I have a laundry room. Um, you can edit the condition report and you can go back. I'm not going to edit it. It just opens up the form again. You know what? I will. I'll edit it. And so what happens when you edit it is it actually will let the tenant know that you're making a change and then they're not going to be able to fill it out until you send them the updated version. So then you can go back through. I'm going to make my edits. I'm going to click next. I feel comfortable with everything I've done. 
this is a great point, and this is why I went through this. Um, when you edit the condition report, we want you to acknowledge that you agree with the changes that you've made. So what we're not gonna do is just keep that signature there. And then um, you send something and you're like, oh, I don't agree with what I did. So I'm gonna sign now and then I'll be able to send it again. So we've really thought through all the situations that a lot of you let us know about. And then I view the PDF and I click next and now I'm gonna send it. And now my tenant's gonna be informed via email and in the platform, you know, your condition report has been updated. It's ready for you to fill out and then please sign it and send it back. And then you both will have the final version. So just for one moment, I'm gonna switch over to the tenant account, which I have in a different screen. So what's cool about doing these demos as well, kind of side note in the meantime, is I think um, some of the landlords that are also on this might not actually have a full understanding of what the tenant side looks like. Um, and that's something that we've received feedback on. And now we're working on, you know, when you sign up for the platform and you send things over to your tenant, you'll be able to see more of a view of um, an understanding of what they're doing on their side. So when the, I'm a tenant, I've signed up, I'm in the lease, I'm at the beginning of the setting up tenancy part of the cycle of self-management. I'm going to check if I have a lease agreement, if I have to set up my rental payments so that um, my rent can be um, automatically collected. But in the meantime, I'm more concerned about this condition report. So if you look at this notifications area that the tenant has, it says your landlord has sent the condition report for you to review and sign seeing condition reports. So I can either click here or I can click here um, and I can open up the condition report. And so they have a very similar view. Um, we found that it is easier for landlords and tenants to have a similar experience because if you're used to doing something one way and we built the tenant side completely different, how are you guys gonna feel comfortable communicating if there's any sort of issues? So we really feel that, you know, we're here for you. If you have questions, we'll answer them, but it really is an intuitive system. And if something isn't, let us know. And we wanna make, we wanna improve that for you. So I'm the tenant. Now I can see that I need to fill out the condition report. So it's very similar looking. I can now see the um, landlord side. I can open up the photo, which I probably shouldn't have done this in full screen. Okay. <laughs> um, and I can read through and, um, and I'm gonna agree with everything because you guys are great landlords, but let's say something is wrong. I might say I disagree and I'll be like, there are curtains. Not upset, I'm happy. And I'm also gonna take photos and just as easily as you guys were able to add photos. the tenant can add them as well. So I can go through, I can fill out everything, agree to everything. Du, 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 du. Scroll down, complete the condition report. I just have this set up so that we don't have to do everything in the demo. And I feel comfortable with inspecting the property. I took my own photos. They now are linked to this condition report with a date and time and I'm happy with it. And I've signed it. Oh no, my screen froze. This is one of the things that happens. Perfect. Stop. The Wi Fi almost went out. Great. So I can proceed to view the PDF. And now I see that I've signed it. And so the landlord and the tenant are gonna receive an email saying that it's signed. And then when you go back into the condition report on the tenant side, you can see that it's signed and that you can view it and it says it and they can download it from there. And then if I just make my way back to the landlord side, 
I make my way back to the landlord side and I log back in and I go to my properties and I go to the condition report. Now I'll see that it's signed. I'll click into it. And from the landlord perspective, I'll have the view that I've signed it and my primary tenant has signed it. I can always view. And let's say there was some sort of issue that maybe you need to schedule some sort of maintenance for. You can log the maintenance issue in RentBetter and I'll probably do a live webinar on maintenance in the future. So then you can just look through it and feel comfortable that you've inspected your property. And I don't wanna be talking for too long without answering some of your questions, but one more thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that when you go back into the condition report, you'll see your previously completed condition report as well as the ability to make a new one. And as I mentioned before, it really is nice to feel comfortable in the state of your property. And so you're probably gonna do the inspection at the beginning of the tenancy, um, at the end of the tenancy, um, when that tenant's leaving and you're bringing in a new one. But we are recommending that you maybe do a middle of tenancy inspection. Um, and it's something that you can talk about with your tenant at the beginning and you know, write a note about that in your um, lease agreement. You don't have to commit to a specific amount of time and get locked into that, but just say, you know, you're in a longer term lease. It's for a year, it's for two years. We just want to check in on the property. And I think it will make us both feel comfortable that, um, you know, that the property is in a good condition. And it's not to kind of, you know, like make your tenant feel like they're doing anything wrong. It's just, you know, that's something that you've saved up your money and you've invested in and you want to have trust that your tenant um, is keeping it to the condition that you like. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm just going to check in on some questions. Okay, so I got a question about, and hopefully I'm understanding this correctly, let me know if I'm not answering everything, but I got a question about, you know, can I use an old conditioner report from one tenant? Um, for an incoming tenant. Um, so what we recommend and one thing I didn't note in the demo is that when you start working on your second or third or fourth condition report for your property, we've actually saved the information that you've inputted in the last condition report. So all those check marks will still be there. If there's an X, but that now has become a check mark, instead of making you, you know, go through and check all of those again, um, you can now just, you know, switch the things that have changed. What we don't keep is the comments and the photos because you do want them to be accurate for how the property is. So if you're, if you had a tenant in there for a year and you're now advertising your property while they're there for like their last month and you need to do another inspection, you don't have to do like an inspection on top of each other. You don't have to do an end of tenancy inspection and then a week later, do a new inspection. So just kind of use that transition from one to another as a good stopping point in checking in on the property. Um, a lot of times tenants um, leave it in great condition and nothing has really changed. So your condition report is set up for that. And you can just make a couple changes or a couple comments on it. And it really isn't um, a ton of time. You're just going to go to your property probably um, when the tenant has moved out right before the new one is, some of you guys might hire cleaners or you just wanna check in on the condition. This is really just bring your phone with you, bring your computer with you. Everything's waiting there, already pre-filled, make a couple changes, and then you can send it to your tenant, your new tenant, feeling comfortable that both of you agree on the condition of the property. So we do recommend that, you know, you don't skip over that because that's when things, um, there's sometimes miscommunications or people don't agree because you can make an assumption that your property looks like it did a year ago, um, but maybe there's some slight changes or something that you want to know about. All right. So there were a couple questions that I got that I believe I answered earlier, but please let me know if I don't. Um, it looks like I'm kind of running out of time. So I just did want to um, go over a couple things just related to our product and our next webinar. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen one more time. So I just wanted to bring 
this to your attention in case you haven't used Rent Better before and this is your first time kind of learning about our features. On our landing page, you can scroll down, you can read about the different plans that we offer. And then just two things I wanted to show you is we do have this features page that goes through everything that we offer for self-managing, as well as the different plans. Um, the two plans that offer the full experience of the condition reports for you know, your tenant being on the platform is the Rent Better Way and the Manage My Property. So if you have questions about um, all the features that are included, I'd recommend that you just reach out to us at info at rentbetter.com.au. And lastly, I just wanted to thank all of you for joining. Um, these. It was great reading these questions just now because hopefully I answered a lot of them. Um, and just let us know if you have any sort of concerns. Um, you know, the driving um, factor here is that you've invested in your properties or you're helping your friends maybe manage your family properties and you care about them. You know, you worked hard in life, you saved up some money um, and you decided to invest, make an investment and other people are living in your property and you don't want to have to wake up worrying about it. And I like to genuinely, you know, believe that people have good intentions, but sometimes people have different understandings of what good condition is or what you're expecting. And so starting off your tenancy and ending your tenancies with inspections and condition reports just helps you guys kind of be on the same page with how you expect that property is going to be. So thank you so much for joining. Um, my next product focused um, webinar will be on tenant bills, but in the meantime, um, Jeremy's going to be hosting a webinar on June 2nd, 5 p.m. Sydney time, and it's going to be talking all about the Australian property market. So I hope all of you guys plan on um, joining that. He is an expert in the field, and I'll definitely be there watching. But thanks, everybody, and we'll be sending out the recording tomorrow with the link to the blog. Feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.